morning, my friend. It's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe. You got your coffee this morning. I'm here at the Spy House Coffee Shop in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I've got a new guest online. He's working on some very unique projects. His name is Sunil, and I don't know how to pronounce his last name. You there, Sunil? Yes, I am. Yeah, huh? Sunil Baskaret. But yeah, Baskaret. There we go. And where are you located? I'm uh, located in uh, Santa Cruz, California. Got it. No, I've never been to Santa Cruz. I've been to L.A. and all that. Where's Santa Cruz in relationship to L.A.? Well, it's uh, it's closer to San, San Jose. Uh, so it's it's right across the hill from San Jose. It's on the ocean side. We're right on the ocean. We're about 500 miles north of Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, about drive up. Yeah. Sort of San Francisco, Northern California kind of thing. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So I like to find out a little little about people before I start uh, getting into the, the details. But are, are you married and got kids and things like that? Yeah, I've got. Uh, well, I don't have kids, but we've uh, I'm married uh, to a lovely woman called Ben Benavides. Uh, she's a musical producer, uh, producing a musical called The Never Give Up Show, uh, <laughs> and uh, she's also the founder of what's called a Global Badass Goddess Society. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> bringing out the total self-expression of women all around the world. Uh, it's extraordinary. Uh, I like that never... Oh, oh, we lost a little connection there. We're back. We're back. We're back. The yeah. internet, it does that once in a while. I like that never give up. I always tell people that you can't fail if you don't quit. Yeah. You just keep right. on going forward. Right. Until, of course, you retire. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When you have permanent retirement. So I know we chatted a little bit earlier, and you've got some very interesting stuff you're doing with local and also outreach via the internet. Could you share a little bit about that? It's it's a, sort of a hybrid of LinkedIn and Meetup, and you can probably express better than I can. Well, let me share a little bit about myself. So, yeah, so I, I have a couple of things you want to know. I'm the founder of what's called the Global Business Mastermind, where we train people how to facilitate environments where collaborations can thrive and uh, where people can build large audiences and engage and convert to our clientele. And so we have highly innovative ways of using platforms like LinkedIn, Meetup, uh, especially LinkedIn and Meetup, to build large audiences and also connect with high level connectors uh, and be able to do business without any practical limitations from the companies that own digitally or online or offline. Uh, so, we've um, been doing that for years since 1991. It's when I first started mentoring owning businesses and teaching people how to do a lot of this. Um, and uh, uh, so, on the what to answer your question, you know, we use a combination of meetup groups to create large audiences. I mean, I have about a, probably the largest business, small business based meetup organization in the world. We have about 120,000 business wow. owners and professionals just here in the Bay Area. And then nationally, we're growing at about 800,000 members a month. And how do we do that? Well, we use Meetup as a platform. I don't run Meetup. I don't participate in it. It's a separate company like Facebook is. I use the platform to build uh, my Meetup groups uh, around the country, in different countries. And then I have people that I collaborate with each town, each town to uh, help me set up well, I, I, I help them set up meetup groups and, uh, and in a very fair, more than fair exchange, uh, they get business done. And I get business done without having to travel there. Um, wow. And uh, we're doing this around the world now, and uh, it's fascinating. It's, it's also very profitable. We learn how to do meetup right. So we teach people how to do meetup correctly and LinkedIn correctly to find both of them in a very powerful way to generate high-level connectors and massive levels of audience. Well, that's pretty cool because I think a lot of people are using a lot most platforms incorrectly. I think yeah. uh, I think our brains are, are wired for that, that instant transaction. Here's $5, give me coffee. Whereas things don't really work that way. They kind of work like a root system of a tree. They don't really... And then you, right. you've got to use it a little differently. And it, I think it's more emotional and human and psychological than some people think it's very linear and just click a link, I'll go buy it. Or it doesn't work that yeah, way yeah. anymore. I think those days, I mean, you know, are, are, are good and probably still to a certain extent. Why things, obviously, but, you know, we're still human beings and our brains haven't really transformed that much in the last 30 years. That's, That's a good technology. thing. <laughs> it is a good thing. You know, it's probably what keeps us pretty cool around each other. Uh, and, you know, people still want to socialize, still want to meet face to face, still want to feel in touch and smell somebody, you know. Right. Uh, and so, 
you would still want to have a combination of that, but if you can combine that power of that psychological connection, like you can on Meetup, with an online connection with, with, with webinars, and you can do webinars and meetups under certain stipulations, uh, then you've got a very powerful piece of machinery. Is uh, it unprecedented? In the do you have like a website that you can share that people can kind of get in touch with you and learn more about how you're blending this stuff together? Yeah, you can go to exponentialaudience.com. That's exponential, like the exponential, uh, so the, ex the power of exponentialaudience.com. And you can get my free reports and all that and okay. explain how you create exponential audiences. It makes sense because it. It sounds like you almost cracked the code on going viral kind of thing, but you got to be patient. Yeah, you have to be patient. I, you know, I tell people this is organic. Uh, yeah. It has to be organic because if your branding is off, I mean, we work with people to make sure that branding is good because I can get you an audience, but if, if the audience won't convert, it won't do anything. Like exactly. You waste of time, you know, and energy. It's like so, planting a lot of seeds on the freeway. Yeah, on the freeway. And, <laughs> get one growing but then a car comes over and just completely ignores you or runs over. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Total waste of time. Uh, so you know you want to be able to plant seeds correctly and effectively and make sure they grow well. Exactly. Even if you grow one tree really well that tree could feed you for a long long time. Exactly and it, it depends on whether you plant it on the north side where there's shade or the south side where there's sun. It depends on what seed goes where and one right. apple seed can make thousands of apples that create more seeds. And it, so yeah, and if you have that apple tree, you know, collaborate if you can with a mango tree, it sounds crazy, but, you know, if you have different kinds of trees collaborating, then you have more interesting varieties, right? Exactly. Like but, yeah, it, you know, that's kind of like what I'm trying to do with what I do is have collaborations. Like, I mean, when I met, mm -hmm. like, in quite different industries, but we met because, you know, we're out there building our audiences and we happen to overlap and that's what Well, I, I tell people that, because uh, a lot of people still have that, that competition consciousness, but I think it's more about collaboration. I say that uh, if your mother and father competed, you probably wouldn't be here. But they that's collaborated right. and a miracle happened, right? That's, that's right, yeah, very good analogy. That could be, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, good at those analogies. So be, I don't like to do these too long because people do have that commodity of time. And uh, we want to just give them a little snippet of who you got, who you are, and what you got. So, before I ask my very favorite question, why don't you repeat again how to get a hold of you? Yeah. Uh, well, you can. The easiest way is to just go to exponentialaudience.com, and uh, you can opt in to my reports. And there's a way you can even set up a free chat if you're serious about working with me. Go to YouTube. Very cool. Uh, you know, if you're serious about doing something, go yeah. meet me. Happy to talk. Very cool, and why not yeah. dip your toe in the water and find out, right? Yep. So here's my favorite question. That's the big W, the big why question. Why yeah. are you doing this? Why aren't you like being an entrepreneur and opening up a restaurant or teaching yoga or being a surf instructor? Why are you doing this? Because my vision is to have a hundred million joy phones in the world, and uh, that vision over the years has become dream my muscle, my memory, my brain, you know, pretty much. And wow. it's what drives me every day to what I do. Uh, and it doesn't take much now to drive me to do it. Uh, it's, it, 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 you know, uh, I mean, there's a lot of history behind it I won't go into, but fundamentally, if there were 100 million joyful and successful entrepreneurs in the world, and each entrepreneur hired on an average 80 people, you would take care of the entire world's population. It makes and sense. The world is a place to live in, you know? So uh, yeah, that's that's why I do this. Uh, and I see the meetup as a natural way to get to that 100 million people. Well, I do a lot of these interviews, and they usually when I ask that why question, it's oftentimes someone wants to connect people and help other people. So that's very honorable. Thumb, two thumbs up for you. <laughs> very kind. Well, Sunil, if you want to stay on, we'll chat a little bit further, but I'm going to put this one in the can and beam it up to the universe and put it out there so people can find it. And okay. uh, they can look for you, and I'll, I'll tag that website on there too so that we can propagate it out and let people can find it. <laughs> okay. Thanks again. Peace. Peace out.